Welcome to Bible Blessings, episode number five. Probably one of the greatest challenges I have faced growing up is my temper. I was unpredictable. My friends never knew when I was going to lose it. Even my non-Christian friends thought I was crazy. Now you know it's bad when even those that don't believe in God think there's something wrong with you. My friends in high school were shocked when one day they discovered I was a Christian. Why? Because with my hot temper came a very foul mouth. I would curse up one side of the wall and down the other. I would curse up my parents. I would even curse up my grandmother, who did not understand a drop of English, but knew when I was cursing at her. She would tell my parents, and then I would be in trouble. James chapter 3 verses 6 to 8 rightly depicts my tongue, and everyone's for that matter. And the tongue is a fire, a world of iniquity. So is the tongue among our members, that it defileth the whole body, and setteth on fire the course of nature, and it set on fire of hell. For every kind of beasts, and of birds, and of serpents, and of things in the sea, is tamed, and hath been tamed of mankind. But the tongue can no man tame. It is an unruly evil, full of deadly poison. The tongue is just an evil instrument. And so if you're anything like me, I was shocked to come across this text in 1 Samuel chapter 3, verse 19, which reads, And Samuel grew, and the Lord was with him, and did let none of his words fall to the ground. What does it mean that none of his words fell to the ground? To me, it meant that every word that Samuel spoke was a blessing. Every word that he uttered was well thought through and calculated to bring good and not evil to any person who heard it. His tongue was tamed. How can we tame our tongues? Certainly not by human strength. How important is it to be able to hold our tongues? Matthew 12, 36-37 But I say unto you that every idle word that men shall speak, they shall give account thereof in the day of judgment. For by thy words thou shalt be justified, and by thy words thou shalt be condemned. The Bible itself says we will be judged by what we say. How important is it? It is the difference between salvation and condemnation. So how can we tame our tongues? Look at what it says in just the previous verses, Matthew 12, 34-35. O generation of vipers, how can ye, being evil, speak good things? For out of the abundance of the heart, the mouth speaketh. A good man out of the good treasure of the heart bringeth forth good things, and an evil man out of the evil treasure bringeth forth evil things. The issue is a heart problem, not the heart that pumps blood, but the heart referring to the mind. This is what dictates what we say. We must deal with the heart. But how? Ezekiel thirty-six twenty-six, A new heart also will I give you, and a new spirit will I put within you. And I will take away the stony heart out of your flesh, and I will give you an heart of flesh. God wants to give us a new heart and a new spirit. He is the only one that can put it there and take away our stony and hard heart. But how? Psalms 51 verse 10. Create in me a clean heart, O God, and renew a right spirit within me. How do we get a clean heart? It must be created. In the same way that God created the world, something out of nothing. He can create in us a clean heart. How? With His Word. It's called the B-I-B-L-E. The words in the Bible are powerful enough to give us new thoughts, new desires, and definitely new words. Then we can say with the psalmist in Psalms 19, 14, Let the words of my mouth and the meditation of my heart be acceptable in thy sight, O Lord, my strength and my Redeemer. Isn't salvation simple? Isn't changing our words into words that don't fall to the ground so easy? Let's spend more time in His Word today. Surely God will give each of us a new heart, and we will not only be blessed, but will be a blessing to others with our words. See you next time. 
were blessed by the message today, please subscribe and give it a thumbs up. It will help to create more content like this and help to spread the blessing. Thank you and God bless. Thank you.